morning. Welcome to the Morning Quick Shot with Frank, brought to you by Trade Stockers and Ninja Pro Traders. Let's take a look at the news real quick. Uh, today's action is going to be, for the next two days actually, uh, Yellen's going to be talking in front of the Senate. Uh, she starts at 9 o'clock Central, so comments will be aired in and out, and you just got to be cautious all day long. Any little comment that she makes can be misconstrued or, you know, positive, negative, however you want to look at it, and uh, could make the market just go kind of crazy. So be cautious with that today. Other than that, let's take a look at what happens. Uh, oh, the other bit of news is the Brexit still showing that uh, that they're going to, you know, stay, not go. Um, just keep an eye on that vote as well. So a lot of overseas news that could drive this as well. So let's take a look real quick. Looks like uh, last night the market opened at 2079 area and then just kind of slowly worked. It dropped initially down to the 74, hit that key res support we talked about yesterday. It just took it all day yesterday and, and uh, about till 7 o'clock central last night to hit that low that we talked about. And then, uh, as we said, we got the bounce right back to the 24-hour VWAP through our Fib resistance here now. And then it just stayed all the way up, all the way through the evening night. Reached an overnight high of 2086, and we're currently pulling back into the support area, testing the 8250 area. So what's in store to today? All things are pointing to a positive day to the upside. So let's take a look at that first. Looking for a retracement down into this zone, probably down to this 2081. And then with the bounce right back up in to test the overnight high double top. Probably pull back just a little bit in here to the 84.50 and then drive right back up into this zone to about the 88 to 89 area, bottom of yesterday's support zone or resistance up here, and then pull right back down into here, um, about mid, and then to drive straight up. Now, if this is really going to be an up to, up to day, look for this to just move right on up into the 93 area, possibly 94 area, and then pull back uh, probably to around the 90.75 area. And then go straight back through this zone and head up again for a quick pause at 95. It may pull back to here or just my drive to, to here. I mean 94, 25 and then pull. It goes straight up into this 98 to the next area. So after that, we've got uh, just look for it to go through the zones a little bit and pull back to the previous zone. Uh, we're up around this 99 area. Look, this 2100, you know, psychological level here for this to go through. So there'll be a lot of fight bull bears putting it on here so look for the bears to step in and try to drive this market all the way back down to the 93 area any kind of bad news from yelling could drive it all the way down here so be keep an eye on this 21 area as we get up into that and see if it's going to drive itself all the way back into the market don't don't be surprised but if we get up into this 98 2100 area get some good support by the bulls and drive right up into this 2105 for a probable high of today if we can even get there but be cautious at any point up in here Bear's going to step in with the over, with the Brexit news, yellow news, and can just turn this thing on a diamond, drive us right back into the uh, into the current consolidation area right in here, about 83. Probably consolidate somewhere about 82 to 86 today, if uh, if the market just decides to ignore all the news and or just sit there and be patient and wait for everybody to get through talking today. So be cautious in this area. Now let's talk about to the downside. To the downside, we want to look for this. To, we're actually getting a signal to possibly head to the lower side, but we need to break this 24-hour VWAP, this white line, come down to this zone, to the 79 level here, look to come back up and retest this zone. Uh, excuse me, zone mid price at 81.50, where the 81 or the uh, 20, uh, excuse me, <laughs> the 24-hour VWAP is. Look at to drive down to the open. Okay, double bottom here at the open. At 79, look for bulls to step in and try to drive this thing back up and may even push it all the way up to 82. But if we're truly going down, then look for it to come down and hit this next zone all the way down to the 74 level. At this point, look for a big reversal and go into the up scenario and drive right back into the opening price of 79. Pull back into this area, maybe down to 77, and then right back up into this zone. We want to test this 24-hour VWAP, which should be somewhere about the bottom of the zone. Test it and drive through it. Come back down and test it and then move into the long scenario we talked about previously. Now to the downside, should it fail this this double bottom right here, come back and retest and fail it. Look for targets in the 71, 66, and all the way down, worst case, and probably around the 60 area today. At this area, if we manage to get down there, look for a good uh, reversal area. In fact, at every zone, look for a reversal for bulls to step in and turn this market back around. If you have any questions about this, 
contact me at tradecrockers.com. Now, before we leave, let's take a look real quick at the uh, big picture with uh, market profile. If we take a look, we're still looking at the same charts. Full retracement up here at 2118 area, and then we've pulled all the way back down to this uh, 2042 low area and put our way right back up all the way to 93, 23% retracement, and then we've pulled right back. So right here, we're consolidating this uh, 74 to 88 area. So if you're looking to swing trade or be on the safe side, wait if we get a close above 88 to go long today. Or wait, wait before we get another close back below the 74, about 73.25 area to go short. Targets will be 64, 57, and 50, the main areas. So keep an eye on that. And if you're going to the upside, 93. And then next target would probably be somewhere around the 2105 area that we talked about. Uh, obviously, psychological here at 2091, 2100, followed by the 2118 at the top. Um, where we might double top and consolidate sideways between the 18 and 2100, big consolidation area. So keep an eye on this. Any further questions, contact frank at tracestalkers.com and have a great day.